It has arrived. My book is here. Hello and um, welcome back. I'm here to share my process of creating a book using ChatGPT and Midjourney and obviously Amazon. The first thing I did was actually have an idea for a book I really wanted to see brought to life. I love studying women in history. Well, I hated the fact that so much of African women's history was written in such a way that disinformed the average African woman. A lot of people don't know this, but African history is full of women protecting, providing, leading our communities and shaping the future of our continent. I hated the fact a lot of people did not know that history. And I wanted an easy way for the young African girl to be able to understand how rich her history was. And I wanted her to understand that she's not just allowed, but entitled to leadership in her community. So I came up with this book and the book was a montage of African women in myth, contemporary times and history that have shaped the course of our continent. I wanted a picture of those women with a brief description of what they did. And that was my idea for a book. Then ChatGPT became available. And as much as I love learning about the lives of these African women, reading their history is a lot because these women have done so many things. But then ChatGPT entered the group chat. And I realized there was a way for me to generate a brief summary of all these women's lives. Another thing was illustrating. I knew how to draw, but I could not draw, draw. So I needed a way to be able to illustrate these women's pictures. And this way I was able to use Midjourney to do so. So I knew I could generate their brief summary and I could generate their images with Midjourney. I now needed to figure out what were the things I didn't know. I didn't know if the images would be any good or if the images would even be copyrighted, if there was something I could use. So the first thing I did was use one example and go through the entire process. I used Chimamanda as my initial example and I generated her images and they were actually pretty good. So I knew that worked. I then used ChatGPT to create a summary of her life. And because I knew enough of her life, I knew they were accurate. I also was already paying for Adobe, which is why I used to make my videos. So I had access to Adobe InDesign and that was where I used to design the book. And I started the process of creating her own page. Once I was able to create the first page, I was like, okay, this book can be executed on. Once I did that, I started going through each character, starting off with people in myth. Obviously, as you go through each character, you begin to notice flaws in the process. I noticed that some of the images that were generated, especially with women, the earrings would be messed up. I realized that Midjourney also did not know how to generate hands. I also knew with Midjourney, if you did not select a very good reference picture, it would not be able to generate a complimentary picture for the person. I really love how Midjourney was able to generate the images of the women in myth, because when I provided more information about the goddesses in myth, they were able to draw on historical references to generate this picture. For each character, I would generate the chat GPT summary of their lives, and then I would create the Midjourney illustration of their face. I would then add to the document that was the book. Then I got to the end of this process, having done around 30 something women. Once I was at the end of the process, this is when I began to encounter new problems. I realized with Amazon, even though the formatting was good, I needed to learn about Amazon's dimensions and Amazon has strict guidelines that allow you to publish books on there. And I knew I wanted a soft copy and a hard copy. And after you submit the document for your book, you have to wait for Amazon to approve it. Even after it's passed rigorous testing on the KDP website, Amazon could still send it back to you and tell you you need to change these things. And that's what happened with the soft cover of the book. I made the improvements and I sent it again to Amazon to approve. After Amazon was able to approve that, I had to reformat the entire document for the hardcover because the hardcover and soft covers do not have the same dimensions. So there was a process of going through every single page and making sure they were formatted properly for the hardcover. Once I did that, I uploaded the document to Amazon and waited for the approval for the hard copy. And you have to go through that entire reformatting process again for the Kindle version of the book. Once you have done that, you can request an author's copy. And once you get the author's copy, all you need to pay for is the actual manufacturing of the book. And you're able to publish to multiple Amazon marketplaces at once. The book is available for purchase below if you're interested in like a good summary on the robust and rich lives of African women in history. I really wanted to make this book because African history is full of women shaping the course of our continent. Overall, I thought the process was smooth, but it's because I already had experience with Adobe. If you didn't have experience with Adobe, maybe InDesign would be a steep learning curve. For Midjourney, I ended up paying for premium because I wanted to be able to work with the bot within my Discord DMs. If you did not pay for premium, you'd have to work with the bots in the general group chat, which is being flooded with lots of new users. Midjourney also has a robust library where you can see the prompts that were used by other users to generate their images. From there, I was able to determine the best prompts to use for my images. 
As I put each of the characters in the document, I made sure to verify that the information provided by ChatGPT matched what I saw in Wikipedia and other sources, especially for those in myth and history, because it's very easy for you to say something about African goddesses and for the stories to get mixed up. Since myth is literally a global thing, there are myths that were foreign and in different cultures. I hope you all found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you all next time.